crew. Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Guys, we're home and it feels so good to be this home. This isn't sunny Florida. This is I know. <laughs> Welcome I'm back to yet another to day of fun in the sun. sun. All the bright colors. You got some like Miami vibes going, I feel like. Yeah, I'm That's kind a of a Miami color. girl. Yeah, it's I don't know if you thing. know. Yeah. I'm just a cold Utah girl. <laughs> it's about to go out on a run this morning. We are back. It feels so good. Laundry is mostly done. Kids are back in school, which is why I just made school, school lunches. lunches. For the rest of the week, did order hot lunches at school. The kids have a lot going on this week. Hazy has- Everyone does, including you, mom. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Hazy has her pumpkin walk today, which is really cute. She did an autobiography. She chose to do it on Milton Hershey. So she had like a whole thing she had to make. We sat and did wow. this when we got back in town. This was our project. We got off the plane, came home, ate literally and did sat homework. at the island and did this. We did this for like two hours. Hazy, tell me she a couple of fun facts about Milton Hershey. What are you gonna tell people? Facts. That he only had a fourth grade education. That's the one that I find very interesting. Yeah, he had a fourth grade education. He had to actually stop going to school because he had to help his mom make money. He was like, okay, this isn't my project. Hazy, what else? What did, he, <laughs> what did he first start making? He started making caramels, then he tasted chocolate in Europe, milk chocolate in Europe, then he started making it. Wow. In the United States. Yeah. Wow. So there's actually a pumpkin under here, which is funny. That's what I was gonna say. Where's the pumpkin though? But it's wrapped in that. You made a giant Hershey kiss. That is a genius project. And then she has in her backpack mini Hershey bars for her to hand out to all of her classmates. So anyone who comes through gets a Hershey bar? Mm -hmm. What if I came through? Do I get a Hershey bar? Yes. <laughs> yes, no, I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Ooh, can I get a real kiss? No, but actually there is kisses in my backpack, so yes, you do get kisses. You can give all the boys kisses at school today. If they're chocolate. <laughs> if they're chocolate. <laughs> then that's only phase one of today. Yes, junior high boys have their very first basketball game today. So excited. It's their first game. We literally get home from vacation and it's game time. They talked about how kind of an accelerated start to the season because of how well their school did in other sports. Kind of pushed back. It like them. prolonged yeah. those other sports. So they've had half of a practice. It's their first game. So we'll see how they do. Brothers last year, of junior high, Cruz just loving that he gets to play with his brother and all of his friends. It was so cool. It's so cool they're on the same team playing together. So that's gonna be two games today, back yeah. to back, the JV and varsity game. And then, mom, this week you are, I feel like it's like a Monday, but I forget we're already halfway through the week. You've got something to get ready for on Saturday. Yeah, guys, I decided to do another race. I have a race this weekend. I'm like moderately excited about it. <laughs> Partly thinking, why did I, I decide? I feel to do like this? I signed up on a day I was really excited to run. I love running, I'm gonna keep running, but after this race, I'm definitely gonna scale back. I won't be training anymore. I just get to run for fun. It's gonna be Awesome. So one more should be fun. Brandon yeah. looked up the medal yesterday. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Have to come back for that this weekend. <laughs> we have a crew be here. Crew. Oh, we've got a student athlete in the house. Hold on. Coming in. I'm coming in. Hot. Game day, baby. Ready to go. First game. He's going over with plays in his head last night. Girl, oh no, so I know. Okay, dude. Already got some plays down. Game day. I shoot a shot. My guy's trying to get rid of his neck tat here. <laughs> If you don't remember Riley getting a neck tattoo, it didn't happen in Florida. It was actually a fun birthday party that he went to. Mom's got the same one on her hand, I just noticed as she wipes this one yeah, away. Yeah, I haven't gotten it off. Late last night, we were able to squeeze in fun birthday party with Micah Ravelli, who turned 16 years old, has his yeah. driver's license. They did it upright, had everybody wear Micah's 16 tattoos, and went in this insane, underlit stretch Hummer limo. It was amazing. Like, extra and it long. Was huge. <laughs> it it was, was massive, and Micah had no idea, so it was a total surprise. It was really fun. Kids are off for another day of school and we are getting thrown right back into it today. Mom is gonna go on a quick run, come back home, shower, get ready, and I'm going to get the vlog done as quickly as I can and post it for you guys today and then we're gonna go and try and participate in Hazy's awesome pumpkin parade, whatever the thing is called, where she's got her Hershey Kiss pumpkin. We wanna go and support her, so we're gonna go to the school, see her presentation, maybe pick up a little Hershey bar, come back, really just for like an hour, and the kids are out of school because it's an early out day today. We'll come home, get ready for tonight's games, back to back, and then back to the school again. Today, a busy one over at the kids' school. I love being super involved in what they 
have going on there. And I love that they have so much going on there, that they're so actively involved in so many different things. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But I had this thought as I opened up the blinds, walked out of the room this morning. In fact, I'll walk you through my morning routine last winter, which by the way, as we're throwing things back, I have this little widget that throws up just random pictures from our camera roll from my home screen. And today's was us digging our first shovel of dirt at the foundation here to begin the building process on this dream home. That was October, I think 11th, 2021. That blew my mind. Like I knew it took more than a year to build and I know that we've been living here for almost a year. That makes perfect sense that that would have been over two years ago. But seeing that, just can't believe that process all started. Digging that first scoop of dirt two years ago. Anyways, that first fall, that first winter that we moved in was one of the craziest winters on record in Utah. It was like the most snow, the most precipitation, most inches we've had in like, it was either 20 or 40 years. It was massive. But my morning routine, got a quick flash of that today as I walked out, caught like the reflection of some lighting on the stairs on our entryway. And every morning as I walk out, I glance out those glass doors right there and try and gauge if there was enough snow that I would need to go shovel. And every single morning, there was a foot or more, eight inches, six inches, so much snow. I would start every day with a snowblower and I just had like a very quick flashback of that, probably a flash forward to our future, thinking that it's not going to be long before I'm gonna round this corner. I get up in the morning, go get the kids ready for school and I glance out there and go, all right, sweetie, you get them ready. I'll be out there snow blowing. <laughs> I know it's around the corner, guys. I know it's coming. I do love those moments when this house feels like a giant snow globe and you've just got snow falling in the mountains out there. A couple of really cool angles in our own bedroom. Mom shot on Insta when we first moved in that literally looked like a slow motion falling snow globe that we were living in. I do love that. Love the changing colors of the leaves. Love how beautiful the landscaping and the views look, but not so sure I am ready for that all time, full time cold. Mindy said yesterday, she's anxious to watch Christmas movies again and decorate for Christmas. I was like, sweetie, slow down. One at a time. We've got Halloween coming up, which by the way, kids doing a really fun Halloween party here at the house. We're gonna divide up, do some older kids parties here and take younger kids trick or treating. So that should be a very, very fun Halloween. I think we have all of our costumes dialed. So anyways, it just feels like now that we're back from fall break, that was the big thing of the moment. Now it is looking forward to what is next here in the house. What is left in this year? And there's a lot, but it's gonna go quick, you guys. Buckle up, subscribe if you haven't, hit the alert bell so you know when the videos post and join us for this ride into the end of the year, into the holidays, into a lot of family fun and into a whole new season and chapter of our lives as the kids start playing on the school basketball team. We're all leveling up and getting older and just being involved in bigger and better and greater things. It's an exciting time in life. We're excited that we get to share it with you guys. Kids are home now from school. Got a chance to go see Hazy, her little Hershey kiss, talking about Milton Hershey, and she absolutely crushed it. I think my favorite part was watching her tell the story over and over to each kid that came through. She told it with such confidence, with such a surety, like she just knew the stuff. We are moving on to the next part of our day, which is the kids' very first basketball game playing for their school team because it is an early out day. We got a couple hours before the game starts. We came back home. Kids wanted to go shoot some hoops in the back, get the nervous jitters out, drink some jitter juice like they would on the first day of school, and just get in the flow. I'm gonna go out, take a kind of lightly, take it easy, and then it's time to load up, head to their first game. It's a home game today, so we'll be playing at the kids' school today. That's kind of a fun way to get things started. Excited to see them in their jerseys, their uniforms, in the team setting. It is back-to-back -back games today. We have a junior varsity game, JV game, followed by the varsity game, or is it the other way? Varsity first. Varsity, varsity first. Find out. Right now, going out and getting a few reps in. Splash, I was taking a crew bath. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> you gonna give me this, dude? That's just respect, bro. Oh, come on. Kids got their reps in. You guys feeling good? Feeling oh. confident? Look at 
these boys. They are in team uniforms right now. School jerseys. Bro, we we're just talking about all of the legends that have worn 34. You got Shaquille yeah. O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, and Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. <laughs> I can't say I can't say his last name. But I know he's a big deal. And then Kirby Do wearing 11. He wanted the KB12. He got close. Kyrie. He got 11. Got Kyrie. Kyrie Irving. You guys going in. Gonna do these numbers. Some new justice. Because guess yeah. what? This number has now been worn by Ryler Bingham. That has been worn by Crew Bingham. It is a time to go in, practice some plays, get into your layup lines, yep. get some drills going. Back to back games. These boys' first games okay. ever going down right now. Try not to freak out, but both of them are in right now. Tyler and crew on the court at the exact same time. <laughs> Rare occurrence. How about you drive home after the game? Does that sound good? Oh, was so fun, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Back home from the boys. Very first game. Not only did you guys win, like dominate win, you guys played phenomenal. It's so awesome. I was so impressed with how well you guys played as a team, how well you guys played together. I was super stoked that we got to have you guys both on the court at the same time, multiple times. I thought maybe so we'd only be cool. one or the other. You guys were in the game a lot together. Even got on camera some of your guys' buckets. Crew had a dope three reg. I had some awesome putbacks. <laughs> but I will say there were some size to discrepancies out there when Ryler was on the court with Did some of the smaller guys. Everybody laughing? Yes. Funny moment. Ryler <laughs> grabbed the ball, brought it down a little bit lower than he should. Coaches were teaching him to keep it up high, but a little guy went for it. Ryler, not knowing what to do, decided to lift the ball back up and brought the kid with him. <laughs> so literally curled a human being. Even the kid himself got a good laugh out of it. <laughs> That was pretty funny. What a great start. Mm -hmm. they did awesome. season. It was so cool having them both out there. In fact, I just posted some pictures too. This is how we bang them on Instagram if you guys want to go check them out. So cool. You guys did amazing. I didn't even know we had these hopes and dreams and wishes for having our boys yeah. play together. It was together, something that I true. cannot wait to do so much more of. We got more games, oh, practice, basketball. We're going to be doing it. It's, it's so going to be a theme of life. I'm so and I'm glad you guys loved it because we awesome. loved it. I think you guys are both going to be more tired than you've ever been. So we're going to work on conditioning, getting good rest, eating good, all the things they taught me when I would play sports. And I thought they were crazy. I'm going to try and teach them to you guys. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I know things. nothing about that. I'm going to be here to support. And you guys are too. Thank you guys for coming along for their very first game. Now yes. tomorrow we have Rexon's birthday party. Yes. So every so single day this week, something going down. The kids here in the house. Don't miss that one. Come back for that. We love you so much. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.